All right, so I have a surplus of raspberries here. I've eaten just about as much as I can. So I wanna preserve those for the next season. So I'm gonna use a canning method here. So I'm gonna show you a general canning 101, if you will. Uh, the first thing I do is get all my mise en place together, which means basically everything I need to do to complete the job right here. So what I've got to start out with is I got my lids here and I've got it sitting in some warm water and I've got it in the warm water because there's a little rubber seal here, which you need to activate and get nice and warm. So it makes a nice seal on the top of your jar. Um, I've also got my rings ready to go. I've got a batch of raspberries here. And whatever your recipe is, there's different uh, recipes out there that use different types of pectins. Some allow you to use no sugar. This one I'm here, I'm using a little bit of sugar. We're gonna bring this up to a boil and then add our pectin and then continue on from there. All right, so I've got some jars and some very hot water. We've washed them and then we put them in some hot water for at least 10 minutes. We wanna make sure that they're nice and hot and sterile so that when we go to add the hot liquid into there, one, they don't break, and then, but also we keep that hot chain so when I put it back inside here, I keep everything nice and hot throughout that whole process. So I've got my jars here, um, and then I've got a couple different tools here. This one here I use to grab all my hot jars out of there because I don't want to burn my fingers. That's a good useful tool. And this one right here has a look, got a little bit of a magnet at the end of a stick here, which helps me to take my lids off of here and place them directly on top of my jars after they're filled. All right, if your recipe like this one does, is raspberry jam uses liquid pectin, we're gonna add that to the boiling sugar and raspberries. We're gonna make sure we get all of that out of here. So squeeze it all out. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna have that boil hard for about one minute. That activates the pectin and ensures that it's gonna gel up nice in the end. So now that my jam is boiled for that full minute afterwards, I'm gonna take this off and pour it into a container that can easily fill my jars. You know, at this point, if you wanted a more refined jam over there, you would skim off the foam off the top. But I remember grandma, she used to pour it right in there and the, the kids, we all fought over the little bit of foam in each one of the jam jars. So I like to leave that on there. So now what you do is you're gonna take your jars a couple at a time and we're gonna fill those. So one tool that you can use, you got a little funnel here which fits on the inside or a nice container like this which gets all of my jam filled all the way up to a quarter inch of headspace. That means a quarter inch up from the top and that's very important. What that does is that builds the correct amount of pressure in there so when we put our lids there and we boil it off, it's gonna make a nice seal. So now we take our raspberry jam which is inside we can take, if we got a little bit on the edge, we can go by and wipe this off to make sure we have a nice seal. We take one lid, put it on the top, and all we do is we screw this on. But I want you to do it finger tight. Don't crank them down, you're gonna have issues later by pulling them off. So each one of these, go inside your canner, right on the inside, I'm gonna do another one for you. And then we're gonna boil this particular recipe for 10 minutes. So whatever your recipe says, that's how long you're gonna boil it. That makes sure that each one of these gets done, pressurized on the inside, and we're safe to open it up six months later in the wintertime. All right, 10 minutes has gone by. Last thing I need to do is take these guys out. So we lift the jars up. It's got a nice convenient handle on the side. And then take your tool here and grab those jars and pull them out. And what I'm looking for is these to come out and I'm going to sit on my counter and cool down. You're not going to put them in the fridge. We don't need to. We can them. You're going to put it, leave them out here, but what you're going to watch for once we get them all out is this little indentation on the top of this. And you want this to fall down and depress, and you can even hear a little noise go off. That means that that pressure's dropping in the center, and that's sealing that top of that can on there. Then after that, what I want you to do is take these screw tops off. You're going to store it without the screw tops. There goes another one. It's going to happen within 24 hours. As long as they all go down, we're fine to keep them in storage until we want them. Um, yeah, I've got a lot of different fruits here. Do I can do peaches. I'm looking forward to that. Some blackberries and some strawberries. All you're going to need is a couple of these different items. And we sell a kit here with all those different tools in it. And another one to get is this blue book. Um, Ball makes a blue book and it's got all your different recipes. Very detailed on the whole process. I'm looking forward to the whole season.